Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. QuickBooks comes with a handy menu bar at the top of the application window that can be used to quickly access all of the commands and features of the program. To perform a command, simply click on the menu bar command category like File, Edit, or Lists to display the drop-down menu that lists all of the specific subcommands within the selected command category. You can then click on the desired subcommand within the menu. You can also use keyboard shortcuts to perform different commands in QuickBooks. The keyboard shortcuts are always listed in the menu bar to the right of the specific command to which they correspond. For example, if you click the Lists command within the menu bar, you can see the keyboard shortcut for the Chart of Accounts command, which is Control plus A on your keyboard. You can then click away from the menu bar drop-down menu in order to retract it. Next, hold down the Control key on your keyboard and then strike the A key on your keyboard to bring up the Chart of Accounts. If your goal is to become faster using QuickBooks, then learning your keyboard shortcuts will assist you. Another handy shortcut is pressing the Escape key on your keyboard, which closes the active window. Also notice that not every command within the menu bar has a corresponding keyboard shortcut. For example, if you click the Lists command in the menu bar to display the drop-down menu, you can see that a command like the Item List does not have a keyboard shortcut. However, there is a keystroke combination that you can perform to access any command. If you press the ALT key on your keyboard and then examine the menu bar, you will see that each command category, like File or Edit, has a single underlined letter, for example the F in File or the V in the View command. If you hold down the ALT key on your keyboard and strike the underlined letter for the corresponding command category, you'll see its drop-down menu appear. At that point, if you examine the subcommands in the drop-down menu, you'll notice that each one of the subcommands also has a single underlined letter. At this point, you will no longer need to hold down the ALT key. You can simply strike the key on your keyboard that corresponds to the underlined letter of the subcommand that you would like to execute. So using the example of accessing the item list, you could simply hold down ALT and then press the L key and then simply strike the letter I on your keyboard to access the item list. You'll find that every command has a keyboard shortcut if you follow this method. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.